Hello there, uh, Pisces. So, um, let me just talk about two things that kind of came out while I was shuffling the um, spread for you. And then we'll go into the spread for this month, okay? First of all, while I was shuffling, I saw like two images. One, they're kind of like next to each other. Uh, one is like a pot, like it's a small potted flower, okay? Could be those small rose bushes or, you know, like um, African violet, just a small potted flower. And then the other image is a tree out in, you know, out in the sun, out in the, the wilderness, okay? So both of these things, they're, uh, they're both plants. They have very different environment. So that pot of flower is in a very controlled environment. It gets nutrition and it gets, you know, water from somebody has to give it, you know, water and sunlight and, and things like that. And then also it's uh, it's contained within that pot. So it can't really grow them much bigger than the pot would allow. Right. And um, whatever is contained, all the soil in the, the nutrients in the soil, that's what's really feeding the plant. So everything is taken care of. It's in a control, safe environment. It's probably a potted flower indoors. And it's getting all, the, all of its needs met. Whereas you have the tree that is outside in the courtyard. It's outside. And um, there's nothing protecting it. It provides a lot of shade for a lot of people. So people do need that tree. But then the tree itself, it's had to bather, batter the elements. You know, it had to grow up and endure harsh winds and harsh winters and um, um, inclement weather in order to grow, in order to thrive and to foster. And its root system is very deeply embedded into the, the earth because it's had to forage for nutrients and water and things like that. So you see this plant and this, this tree. And what it's really telling me is I feel like this is a, a conflict that is coming through for this month where you can embody the energy of one or the other. You could be dealing with somebody who behaves like a potted flower where they're, they've been pampered their whole lives. They don't really see things from outside of their worldview. They've never had to struggle. They don't know what it's like to struggle and they don't do things with a, a big sense of urgency. But at the same time, because they've been like a potted flower, they can be very, very naive. They can also, you know, have a very optimistic worldview because they've never had to deal with these hardships. And then on the other hand, if you're dealing with somebody who's like that tree, they have a lot of wisdom, a lot of insight. They've had to, you know, really scramble very, very hard to get where they are today. They had to be resourceful. They had to be uh, self-reliant. And wherever they are today, because they've had to work so hard and hustle so hard, they might be fearful, you know, to uh, about losing it all. So I feel like it's not so much the 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 energy of opposition, but it's more about looking at you know where someone has been, and then trying to figure out the best way to appeal to them. Looking at somebody life station or you know their their circumstances or their history to be able to understand where they're coming from and why they behave the way that they do so this is a, a month where you're going to need to take a different approach when it comes to dealing with other people okay and it's not good or bad being the potted plant or that tree it's just a matter of perspective so let me talk about a few things here. This is what I think about as the tree. This is somebody who's in survival mode. They've had to hustle. They've had to scramble. They've had to do many, many, many things in order to attain um, financial security, wealth, prestige, um, in you know, getting in themselves into a position of power. And then once they get themselves to that point, they're like, oh no, I can't really go anywhere. I don't want to change jobs. I don't want to change career. I'm comfortable where I am right now. I don't know what's around the corner for me. 
and um, they stay and stay and stay in bad situations, you know, or even they stay and stay and stay in situations that are not bad, but they're not ideal because they're very, very fearful about losing it all. They know what it's like to deal with hardships and they don't want to end up, you know, back in that space of hardship. I see many of you, this might be some an energy that you embody where you're staying in a situation, you're waiting for opportunities to open up. You know, so like, uh, for example, if you're um, a senior, well, no, if, if you're a junior um, analyst, you're waiting for that senior analyst to open up and you're just like, when is that person going to retire? When is that person going to be, you know, shifting into a next, uh, their, their next job? When are they going to leave the company? So this mentality can be detrimental, mainly because you feel comfortable where you are and your only way is up. That's the way that you kind of see the world or you see your professional development or you see your career track. You don't think about lateral transfer, you know, transferring from one department to the next. You don't even think about transferring outside of the company where, you know, like it, 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 looking at other opportunities outside the company, looking at other opportunities in different departments, that's a lateral transfer. And then looking at opportunities even in a totally different career path, okay? so. The thing about being that tree is, yes, it needs the sunlight. It definitely needs the sunlight. It needs the input that, you know, the, the universe is thrown at it. The wind, the, uh, the harsh climatic conditions, the lack of, you know, nutrients in the soil, and sometimes even scarcity in water. It needs those elements in order to come to its full potential. But when things are really hard and it's had to deal with a lot of hardships, it can be very, very fearful in survival mode and resistant to change as well. So once again, it's neither good nor bad to be that potted plant or that tree. It's just, I feel like you're letting a lot of fear uh, get in the way of your professional development. Okay, so think about, are you waiting for that job to open up? You're waiting for that person to quit or to leave so that you can step into their position? Is, is the waiting game the best option that's available for you? Or can you make, you know, your professional strides elsewhere? Can you shift gear? Can you go to a different agency? Can you look around, put your feelers out there and see what else is available for you? Because if you're stuck waiting for this, what if that person is also in your predicament and they don't want to leave? So will it just be a waiting game between two people that leads to kind of, um, it just doesn't lead anywhere. They're also waiting for something to open up. You're waiting on them to wait for something to open up. So it seems like a very circular pattern and it, it seems to me like it's not really going to be beneficial for anybody involved and i feel like this is the month where you're starting to break out of that cycle you're starting to see you know i don't I, i'm getting older i don't really have the patience to do that anymore and i need to you know um make some plans make some contingency plans so with the temperance card in the reverse position, there's some hastiness, there's some anxiousness coming into the picture in your professional life. And I feel like it's a gentle nudge. It's your spirit guides gently nudging you and telling you, are you just going to wait and let you know the rest of your life pass you by on the off chance that this person is going to leave and that position will open up? Or will you get out there, brace the elements, and try to see what other opportunities are available. So I see a lot of issues here when it comes to resistance to change and it comes to, you know, being fearful of new people encroaching upon our territory, uh, being territorial, and as well being very, like, in that survival mode where you're scrambling for resources, you're scrambling for positions, you're scrambling for things, and you're holding things very, very tight to your chest, close to your chest. Um, I also feel as well, there are meetings. This 
indicates to me behind the scenes, behind the scenes, not in the public eye, behind the scenes discussions and things like that that are happening where you're very, very close lipped about how much you are revealing of yourself. So such as a, a salary negotiation, they're like, you know, how much are they paying you? Can I, uh, I can match their, that salary. And you're just like, not really sure how much information you should give them. I feel like this could also be residual energy coming through from April, where somebody's asking you, how much are they paying you? And I feel like many of you might have told a fib and inflated the price. There's nothing wrong with that. You do what you got to do in order to, you know, land. Um, you do what you need to do in order to get that hustle, in order to get that job. Okay. So I feel like some of you are a little bit fearful. Are they going to find out? Are they going to call my current employer and check up on them and just, you know, gauge to see if I'm telling the truth? Are they going to give me that offer? Are they going to give me that position? So I feel a lot of things that are tied in here and you're like on pins and needles waiting for results, waiting for things to come in. I'm also seeing as well, um, health, health diagnostics, the sun deals with vitality and the temperance card, it deals with emotional fluctuation. So I feel like some, we might have some emotional situation affecting your vitality, um, like hormonal fluctuations and things like that. Um, some of you are getting results and you're on pins and needles waiting to, to figure out what's going on. And you're going to have some, you know, some, some solid results at least so that you know what to do and you know how to take better care of yourself and you know what you need to do in order to enhance or increase your health. Okay. The other aspect that is coming through in the picture for this month here, I'm going to look at this first. Actually, I believe it's like this. This is being in a very, very uncomfortable situation. It's a situation that might be a little bit awkward. Um, I feel that somebody is putting you in, um, putting you in an awkward situation. And I feel like what it what it's saying here is I feel like for some of you this is in a work environment and then for others family loved ones family okay I do see a lot of family interference in existing love relationships and also professional interference as well in your current work situation such as upper management such as like uh, HR or even your supervisors or even your manager interfering with the work that you're doing, micromanaging, looking at, investigating, and keeping tabs on you. So it's like a situation where we're walking on eggshells. We're, we feel like we're being monitored and we feel like other people are um, butting into our business, okay? Um, what this denotes as well is you there is a way out okay so if somebody is kind of uh, telling you hey do this for me do that for me and you're not completely comfortable with it you need to be the one to speak up for yourself and you need to be the one to kind of you know uh, decide for yourself what you're willing or not willing to put up with so if somebody is continuously putting you in this situation where you have to put them first, you know, help me with this project, help me do this, help me cook, help me clean, help me, you know, whatever the reason is, you could be taking care of elderly parents, for example, somebody who is bedridden, they're uh, ill of health, they're not able, they don't have that stamina to take care of themselves. And they're kind of, um, I feel like, you know, infringing upon your kindness, you kind of need to draw the lines, okay? You kind of need to be the one to just uh, step in and just tell them, I'm not able to do that, mainly because that's not a part of my work responsibilities, or that's not what I sign up for, or that is not something that you should ask of me. So learning to kind of speak up for yourself, it's going to be very, very crucial. And learning to not put up with things that 
uh, from other people when you feel it's not right for you. Being put in an uncomfortable situation, you don't need to allow it. Okay. Um, I do sense this is the month where once again, you know that that potted flower. You're dealing with somebody who has a very different work, viewpoint from you. You're dealing with someone who is a little bit more impatient. They are. They, they've never had to hustle. They've never had to scramble. Life was just, you know, a series of gains and and uh, success for them. So they have very, very strong beliefs in themselves. They have great, you know, high confidence in themselves and their capabilities. They have been given everything. Like everything in life was just kind of handed to them, and so it creates a person that is very optimistic. That feels like the world kind of owes them something, and since they've never had to, you know, deal with hardships and and get out there and scramble, they just don't know what that entails. And so, you're dealing with someone who's very, very intolerant. Intolerant. They want things a specific way, and when things don't pan out the way that they're hoping for, I feel like they would not put themselves. In uncomfortable or compromising situations, because they're like, if this is not working out, I'm gonna move on to better things. And I feel like you're looking at this person, and I feel for many of you, family members, okay, you're looking at this person, and you're just like, with all your wisdom and your years of experience and all the hardships that you have endured, you're looking at them, and you're just like, you foolish human, but. There's also that sense of envy coming in from your end. You know, like I wish I could be like you. I wish I could be so nonchalant about things. I wish I could easily just move on to something else if the current situation is not working out for me. So there's a sense of I, I feel like there's this envy about. I wish I could, you know, be like that. Be that intolerant, and just cut people off, and leave situations, and not have to cling on so dearly to people, places, and things because I'm fearful about you know、uh, losing that history, that sense of connectedness. So you're meeting people that are very, very different from you this month, Pisces. You're meeting people that don't have your same philosophies in life. They don't see things in terms of relationships and social niceties. Not that they don't value these things, or not that they are not nice people, but the things that they value are very, very different from you. They don't care about you know belonging to a group, belonging to a tribe, belonging to a, a community. They don't care about you know. Having to cater to and pander to and and play nice with everybody and being well liked and and being able to fit in, they don't really care. They care about individuality. They care about you know whatever is not working for them. They're not going to tolerate it. They're going to cut themselves loose and they're going to move on. And I feel in a way it's very invigorating, but it's triggering a lot of fears within many of you. You wish, on the one hand, you could be like that, that nonchalant, but on the other hand, as a water sign, you care about this sense of, you know, social embeddedness. You care about being well liked, being in harmony with other people, and so you really want to think about: has that been holding you back a lot in life? Has the process of wanting to, you know. Pander to and cater to, and play nice with other people. Is it like ha have those things been done at the expense of your own emotional health? And are you getting the proper thanks? Are you getting the accolades? Are you getting the positive reception as a result of it? So we have some deep rooted issues that are coming up into、um, in for you to examine for the month of May. I don't see them as issues. I see them as like you know two sides of the coin. And if you have spent your life, you know, wanting to play nice, wanting to conserve, wanting to 
preserve that sense of serenity and and calmness and you know let's not uh, ruffle anybody's feathers then this month I feel like you're gonna examine how has that served me so far has it been a hindrance am I putting other people's needs first and then am I getting you know like the 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 same type of consideration from other people and then on the other hand if you have been very very individualistic I feel like you're gonna examine as well you're gonna examine as well some issues when it comes to security when it comes to do I need to stay here and wait for you know new opportunities to open up or can I just constantly bounce around and be okay so are you okay with this sense of individuality even though it might become at the expense of you nurturing and fostering these relationships um, honestly I feel like there might be job interviews coming through for for many of you I have these three cards here they're big for job interviews okay they're big 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 uh, career boosting things this is being very careful and cautious about what you reveal this is a card about public speaking speaking in front of large groups and this is a card overall about job interviews where people are talking about you they're discussing you behind the scenes they're talking about your accomplishments they're also doing research about you so I feel like you need to be very very careful about not inflating not inflating or lying on your resume or you know putting things in there that can't be fact checked assume they're gonna fact check okay so you want to be careful about not being too um, flowery or uh, too um, not to inflate your experiences okay you can you know toot your own horns by all means but don't over inflate and don't exaggerate too much and don't put in false information because I feel like they are gonna check the facts and they're gonna find out so you just need to be careful about that aside from that it is a great career development type of a year but I feel like there are some things here where it would be beneficial for you to start taking charge and you know uh, don't waste too much time crowdsourcing like what do you think about this what do you think about that make those unilateral decisions because I feel like more than anything you guys have very strong intuition as well you're very capable and you're also very diplomatic so if you already decide and your intuition is telling you I should do this or I should do that you don't need to go through the whole spiel of you know crowdsource and ask everybody around you what they think how should we proceed it's not really gonna serve you uh, well and I feel like it's gonna waste a lot of time there are a lot of urgent things that are coming into this month where you need to act on information you need to act quick and you need to make these unilateral decisions rather than waiting okay the waiting game it's gonna lead to trouble so if you need to make the choice own up to that position own up to it and just make the decision uh, one last thing that I want to say as well um, so Pisces you, you guys are not stubborn you guys are definitely not stubborn people but I feel like for some of you um, you're you're very fixated on a specific course of action and I, I feel like you know people around you might not approve right so this is here not being able to open be open with other people you know being closed off not being able to reveal what you really think and you're anxiously waiting on something waiting to act waiting on a course uh, uh, um, like an, a specific outcome and people around you might not even agree with what you're doing and they don't feel like it's a good course of action that's gonna bring you a lot of success and so just do it okay because I know you, you guys are not stubborn people but don't let the naysayers you know instill fear and, and feed you know that paranoia of that fear um, do what you are guided to do because you have some very strong divine intervention this month 
it's sort of like your your guys are nudging you. They're they're like nudging you, like gently tapping on your fingers or on your hands. You're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel like you know what? I can do this. I don't need the approval. You're not looking for validation anywhere. You know, it's it's not appropriate for this month. So move things along. Make those decisions, and you know. You don't owe an explanation to anybody. Okay, you don't owe people an explanation. You don't owe anybody、uh, anything. You don't have to listen to them just because they're giving you advice. Doesn't mean you have to listen to them. Okay,、um, act in a unilateral、uh, fashion this month, and it's going to save you a lot of time. Okay,、um, I hope the reading has been helpful for you guys, Pisces. I wish you all the best. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of May twenty eighteen. Okay, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.